Hello again, boys and girls, and welcome to our third reading for the week. Today is, of course, Monday, and the story today is entitled Turn Away from Sin. And the scripture reading, reading is again taken from the 14th chapter in the book of Re Revelation, and this time the seventh verse. And it says, Worship God, the time has come for God to judge all people. And this story is read to us by Christian. Turn away from sin. Our Bible text is taken from Revelation 14 verse 7 and it reads, Worship God, the time has come for God to judge all people. Our story today is called A Troublemaker Meets Jesus. Three angry men suddenly burst into the place where Carl's father, an Adventist pastor, was telling others about Jesus. You have 10 minutes to get out of here, one of the men shouted. Between them, the men had a gun, a knife and a long iron bar. We'll be back to fight in 10 minutes, one man shouted. With that, the, tr the three troublemakers turned and left. What will Father do? Carl wondered. Will he stop talking and tell everyone to leave? But instead, Father kept preaching. About ten minutes later, the three men returned. Carl looked at their faces. They're really angry now, he thought. But when Carl turned to look at his father, he noticed something was happening. Father looked straight into the men's eyes. As he did so, the men began to shake and backed away and left. A few weeks later, father was holding a baptism in a nearby river. River, sorry. The, the man who had held the long iron bar showed up. He came over to Father. Pastor, he said. I want to be baptised too, but I'm not ready yet, because I've been a very wicked man. Can a man like that really change and serve Jesus? Carl wondered. But to his amazement, a few weeks later, Father led the man into the river. Carl was very proud of his father and he was amazed at what could happen when a person chooses to turn from evil and follow Jesus. Think about it. What sin might there be in your life that you'd like to turn away from? What are some things that might be causing you to take your eyes off Jesus? And how can you change it? Today's prayer idea. Ask God to help you turn away from wrong thoughts and actions. Thank him for his power to change and for his loving forgiveness. Jesus said, hear us then, won't you please let me in? And you said, I will, tomorrow. Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your needs. And you said, I know. But tomorrow, tomorrow, I give my life tomorrow. I thought about today. Oh God, it's so much easier to say tomorrow. Who we'll promise you tomorrow? Better choose the Lord. Jesus said, here I stand, 
face, take my hand, and you said, I will, tomorrow, Jesus said, I am he, who supplies, all your needs, and you said, I know, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll give my life tomorrow, I thought about today, oh please, it's so much easier to say, tomorrow, we'll promise you tomorrow, Better choose the Lord today For tomorrow Very well might be today And you'll say Your tomorrow will never come For you Still you left and played And continued on everyone, this is Room, your Brooks Kids presenter, and we are on day three. And again, I have our special guest, Liana. I have another question I would like you to answer. What are some things that might be causing you to take your eyes off Jesus? TV, some books, films. Video games and video games. Um, some of the things that might be causing me to take my eyes off Jesus are like watching too much TV and having too many toys and also not doing what mummy and daddy are telling me to and not having a bath when they tell me to and other things like that. I would say social media, particularly nowadays and maybe people around my age as well. We see a lot of social media, the stuff that you watch on different social media stuff, it can like keep your eyes off Jesus. And I think it's important to keep your eyes on Jesus instead of keeping your eyes off it. So instead watch stuff that is maybe gonna help you that is going to inspire you to be more like Jesus rather than to watch other stuff that may help you to not be more like Jesus. When people play games, it, it does take their minds, the eyes off Jesus because you're basically concentrating on the game and not really communicating with God so much. And yeah. The things that might cause me to take my eyes off Jesus are when I'm feeling sad or angry and I forget that Jesus is still with me. Or when I'm playing with my toys or my friends, I get distracted and forget to take my take time to pray to God. Things that can take your eyes off Jesus would be like technology, like Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, Netflix, Prime Video, and YouTube, and also playing with the wrong friends. I think some things that might cause me to take my eyes off Jesus are distractions, because in the modern generation now, we have lots of things like our phones that distract us from God, like parties, stuff like that, that are set on Sabbath day can cause us to take our eyes away from God. Because when you have a lot of pride, you become big headed and greedy. And um, I think the answer to that question um, has to do with how we're so busy in our lives and that we have lots of things that we're trying to do, like school and work, etc., etc. But what actually takes away from our eyes off Jesus is what we choose to do in our free time and how we entertain ourselves because um, we could have used that time to just um, to learn more about Jesus and to read his word. 
So I think the answer to the question is um, the activities we rather do in our free time instead of um, spending time with Jesus is what takes us away from him. What can you suggest that children can do to keep their eyes on Jesus? What we can do to keep our eyes on Jesus is to make sure that we have dedicated time such as devotion in the morning and also in the evenings to make sure that we're always focusing on Jesus and we don't let um, us up, we don't tell ourselves that we're too tired or too exhausted to spend time with Jesus. I think talking to like, you know, doing regular Bible studies um, about Jesus and about God, I think that um, if you can talk to like an elder or someone in the church, it can help you, it can help motivate you to keep going, to like fill the spirit and to keep your faith in God. Amen. Amen. Read their Bible more and pray and get closer to God. Amen. They can read their Bible every day, pray every time they go to bed, pray every time they wake up, pray after they've had a meal, pray to bless the food, and just pray all the time. Just watch, if you like watching stuff, What maybe watch something that's going to help you, like Brooks kids even, to help you keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Or as they said before, read the Bible, pray every day. And if you just don't, if, you know, you just feel that you want to keep your eyes on Jesus, just pray, pray about it and God will help you. The best thing to do is pray and read the Bible. If you plan on going on technology, I would suggest you would watch a sermon or you would watch Grace Link, which is basically the lessons. Read the Bible and go to church. Thank you for your answers. See you next time on the next episode of... Question time! Goodbye! Let us pray about this. Now bow your heads and clasp your hands. Dear Father in heaven, I pray that everybody will turn from evil and meet you. And we know that you will come and and that we'll see you and that you'll judge us. In your heavenly name, amen.